The city of Fukushima now has Japan's first facility for reducing the volume of the radioactive sludge from the 2011 nuclear disaster. The facility was installed by the Environment Ministry in a municipal sewage treatment plant. A ceremony was held in a city on Saturday. The facility will dry the sludge at a temperature of 450 degrees Celsius and reduce it to about one fifth of its original volume. The Environment Ministry expects the facility to treat 30 tons of sludge daily. Such sludge has been accumulating in sewage treatment plants in Fukushima and neighboring prefectures due to a lack of progress in the building of interim storage facilities. The volume of such sludge in Fukushima Prefecture alone has risen to more than 68,000 tons. We have to make many tough decisions when we have a radiation disaster, and that's what we've been doing to move things forward. I think building this facility is one step in that direction. The ministry plans to transfer the dried and shrunken sludge to interim storage facilities and permanent disposal sites. Although it is unclear when these facilities will be built. Experts from the International Atomic Energy Agency say they will visit Fukushima to examine the Daiichi nuclear plant. It will be their first time to observe the decommissioning work. The experts will inspect the plant from Wednesday to Friday next week. They'll discuss the progress with officials from the plant's operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company. And they'll meet with officials from the Natural Resources and Energy Agency. They're expected to suggest ways of dealing with leaks of contaminated water. And they'll check measures to protect workers from exposure to radiation. IAEA officials last visited the plant in May 2011 to examine the extent of the disaster. TEPCO officials say it will take about 40 years to complete the decommissioning process.